Hello everyone and welcome back to Biology with Mrs. Evans. This is going to be a really short uh, video on basically a water molecule. Water molecules are pretty interesting because they're different than what you would expect. So if you look at the Bohr model here of a water molecule, you'll notice that remember from the periodic table that hydrogen has an atomic number of one. So that tells me it has one proton uh, and it has one electron. Remember, um, protons are in the nucleus of the atom and then electrons are basically floating around remember in the electron cloud so hydrogen has one and remember it wants to have two in that first level so it's either going to share an electron or uh, gain an electron in order to fill that so what happens is is the hydrogen is going to form a covalent bond here with oxygen oxygen if you look at the atomic number is going to have um, an atomic number of eight which means it has eight protons and it has eight electrons remember two electrons in the first shell and that means it has six electrons in the second shell so it's either looking to gain two electrons or it's looking to share so that's what happens is uh, it's going to share two electrons one with this hydrogen and one with this hydrogen ion and uh, going to form two covalent bonds. So as a result, if you look at the number of protons and the number of electrons, it should be uh, basically neutral because there are equal protons and equal uh, electrons. But that's not what happens. That's what makes um, water kind of unique. So because the electrons are not equally distributed um, between the molecule of water. Uh, the water molecule is what we call polar. Polarity, you need to know, means uneven or unequal distribution of charge. And the way that I like to explain this is, um, think of a sumo wrestler um, trying to play tug of war with a first grader. All right, the rope that they're sharing would be um, the covalent bond. They're sharing those electrons. However, the sumo wrestler obviously is much bigger. It's going to have a bigger or a stronger pull on that rope than uh, the first grader. And in that example, the sumo wrestler would be oxygen and the first grader would be hydrogen. So if you notice, oxygen is a much bigger molecule. It also has these six electrons already, so it's going to have a stronger pull on that um, electron that it's going to share with the hydrogen molecule. And hydrogen being much smaller, only having one proton, uh, it's not going to have a strong pull on that electron. So what happens is, is that the um, oxygen side of the water mo molecule is going to become negatively charged, and then the hydrogens are going to become positively charged and we're going to talk about that uh, in a moment. So what happens is is that the um, hydrogen of one uh, water molecule is going to be attracted to the negative side of another water molecule and remember the opposite um, in charges causes a weak attraction and that's what uh, forms a hydro um, hydrogen bond sorry hydrogen bond. So here's a picture representation of the hydrogen bond. So again, remember the negative side of one um, oxygen molecule is going to be attracted to the positive side, which is the hydrogen of another water, uh, water molecule. So this bond represented here by the dots is a hydrogen bond. And again, remember hydrogen bonds are just the attraction between uh, the opposite charges. And it's a relatively weak bond because um, it's just an attraction between the two different charges. Alright, so um, Again, hydrogen bond, weak because it is attraction between the positive side of one molecule and it's attracted to the negative side of another molecule. And a big um, thing that you're going to have to be able to do is draw and label the parts of a water molecule and discuss the two different bonds uh, that are found in a water molecule. So I'm going to advance it to the next slide. So when we talk about bonds in water, there are two bonds that we're going to talk about. And uh, the way that I like to explain this is think of water uh, as a Mickey Mouse. All right, everybody's um, seen Disney and they know what Mickey Mouse is. So the way that I always approach drawing a water molecule is to draw a Mickey Mouse. Okay, we have uh, oxygen is going to be our big face and then hydrogen are going to be the ears. And the way that I uh, remember that is, remember on your face, what do you use your ears for? You use it to hear. So the ears on my Mickey Mouse are my hydrogen. And again, um, you have to label the, the charges on a um, water molecule. So again, hydrogens 
are going to be positive because they don't have a strong pull in that electron, and then oxygen is going to be negatively charged. So when we talk about the two bonds that are found in water, um, just remember that the covalent bond is the bond that is found right here because these electrons are being shared. Also right here, these electrons are being shared. And then hydrogen bond is the attraction between the negative of one molecule and the hydrogen of another. Again, attraction between opposite charges. So you're going to want to pause the video, draw the water molecule, and make sure that you can label and also discuss um, the different bonds that we find in water. So covalent bonds are found in the molecule of water, meaning between the hydrogen here and the oxygen as well. And then hydrogen bonds are found between um, two different water molecules.